Remember the last time you stubbed your toe? You felt pain, anger, regret for not being more careful, and you probably felt really sorry for yourself. But the pain goes away rather quickly, so you can carry on with the rest of your day. Now imagine having that feeling every single day for weeks, months, or even years. That's the difference between acute and chronic pain. Acute pain plays a protective role. It tells us that our body has come to harm so that we may react and remove ourselves from further injury. Chronic pain, on the other hand, has no known evolutionary benefit and can persist long after the initial injury has completely healed. Chronic pain is an epidemic that affects up to 30% of Canadians, indiscriminate of the young and old men and women, at a cost of $6 billion annually to our economy. Additionally, those who suffer from chronic pain are at a higher risk for depression and suicide. Although there has been a dramatic increase in pain research over the past 15 to 20 years, we still lack effective treatment options for chronic pain patients. The goal of my thesis is to elucidate the cellular mechanisms of neuropathic pain, a specific type of chronic pain that arises from damage or dysfunction to the nervous system. In recent years, microglia, the immune cells of the brain and spinal cord, have been implicated as a key cell type involved in modulating pain signaling. My research has identified that activation of microglia is critically involved in modulating neuropathic pain. One of the distinctive, uh, one of the distinctive symptoms of neuropathic pain is the development of a heightened pain sensitivity. And when I disrupted microglial activation in mice with neuropathic pain, I was able to eliminate these pain symptoms. Now, it's important to note that over 90% of all pain research is conducted in male rodents, even though studies have shown that the vast majority of pain patients are female. My initial experiments were also conducted in males. Remarkably, when I repeated these experiments in female mice with neuropathic pain, I saw absolutely no effect. These divergent mechanisms between males and females may explain why preclinical studies using male rodents have failed to successfully translate into treatment for the female-dominated patient population. In summary, I have identified that microglial activation is critically involved in modulating neuropathic pain in male mice, but most importantly, this mechanism is not present in females. We cannot expect for pain mechanisms that are identified in males to naturally also apply to females. This is a major issue that we must address in the pursuit for treatment of chronic pain. Thank you.